Namaskara. I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal from Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, 15 Eagle Street, Bangalore 25. And I'm an eye surgeon as well as a genetic surgeon as well as administrating stem cell therapy. Retinal degeneration is a huge terminology. It can be caused by so many factors. One of the most important factors has been inherited disorders. Second has been age-related macular degeneration, diabetes, hypertension, and then related to any other secondary ailment like cancer and HIV and all that. All of them will produce retinal degeneration. Even myopia will produce retinal degeneration. In all of these situations, one of the ways that we treat it is by taking one drop of the patient's blood, making the patient's fetal DNA, giving it back as injections to the patient, thereby taking him back a few years at least and thereby treating his condition. However, the rest of the world is also keeping up with this technology and one of the many methods and the newer drugs that have come into the market is called an anti-vascular endothelial growth factor. What that means is, actually it started out as treatment for cancer. Now we do understand that if somebody has cancer, more blood vessels are growing. How did they grow? There is a particular chemical that is released, which is called vascular endothelial growth factor. So we made an anti-VEGF or an anti-vascular endothelial growth factor. Its efficacy in cancer was not that much, as much as its efficacy that came on to age-related macular degeneration. Age-related macular degeneration is supposed to be occurring due to many reasons, but one of the most interesting reasons is the ultraviolet radiation. A very big study was done more than 60 years ago at Lhasa, which was supposed to be having a lot of uh, ultraviolet radiation. And here it was seen that 90% of people aged over 60 years had age-related macular degeneration. This led us to believe we need ultraviolet radiation protection. So I also at the same time would like to advise you all, please wear sunglasses with UV blocks. Now, how do we start treating this? The condition of age-related macular degeneration is two types. It can be a wet type, it can be a dry type. Wet type means there is a leak. Blood vessels are growing, they are not healthy enough and they are leaking. This is the only type where these drugs can be used. Some of the important drugs that have come into the market was This is going to be costing approximately 2000 US dollars. However, far, far less expensive and far, far much more efficacy with all kinds of retinal degenerations, whether it's diabetic or age related or inherited or, or cancer or whichever condition is to use the patient's own healthy DNA, which we can make by taking one drop of the patient's blood, give it back as injections to the patient. 